Hey guys, Reed here. Today I'm following up on my video from last week, where I introduced you to the new Native Hierarchy Slicer. I want to talk about how to handle empty members that often come from ragged or uneven hierarchies in Power BI. As you can see in the slicer on the left, there's a lot of nested blank values cluttering up the list, and I want to eliminate that, achieving the look and feel of the slicer on the right. So let's hop into Power BI and get started. So I want to start by showing you the native slicer first and then talking about the pain point that I have with it. So over here, if I go ahead and select this, you will notice that this is the standard slicer, just like I did last week. And if you haven't seen the part one of this video, I'll go ahead and link you to that video over here on the right pane. But otherwise, standard hierarchy levels come in from a table that just has a hierarchy in it. But the issue being, if we take a look at this again, is that there's all of these blank values here part of that uneven hierarchy that I mentioned that I want to not display in this slicer. And if we come over and look here at the data table, we can see what the hierarchy looks like. Now, what this is called is a ragged hierarchy. I'm not gonna go into the detail of what that is here. That's not the intent of this video, as much as showing you how to address using one of these in a hierarchy. However, if you are curious about more information regarding ragged hierarchies, I will include a link in the description below. But my goal is how do I get rid of all of these nested levels in here that have blanks in it so that doesn't show up on my hierarchies. So to do that, we come back over here and there's no easy way to do that built in to the native slicer. Unfortunately, in the settings, there is no hide empty members section that is built into this. However, that is where custom visuals for these scenarios can come in handy. There is a hierarchy slicer that is a custom visual that includes that. And that is what we have over here on the right. This was one downloaded from the app source store. And in here, we have a very easy selection to say hide members. If I put that back to never, it again looks very similar to what I have over on the left. And that's kind of that broken look that I do not want is all of those blanks showing. So I simply go to say hide members, select empty, and that automatically hides all of those blanks on any levels below the top level that doesn't have members in it. And it's very easy to add this as well. All you have to do is come up to more visuals, Go to from app source, search for hierarchy, and it is the hierarchy slicer right here. It's been around for a few years, and for the scenario I'm describing about hiding custom members does the job perfectly. So my recommendation for the moment is if you have hierarchy levels like this that needs to address those blanks and have them be removed from the list, this is a very good alternative to the native slicer that has more robust features built into it versus the default one. My hope is that someday the hide empty members will come to the default slicer, but until then, this is a nice backup and alternative. Thank you so much for watching, and please don't forget to like, comment, or share this video. If this is your first time to my channel, or you want to see more of these awesome videos, smash that subscribe and notification button. And last but not least, you can download the file for today's video from my blog files page using the link down below.